We've learned so much going through the book of Luke so far this term. Jesus was tested but overcame the devil's temptation. Jesus said he was God's king who had come into the world to bring freedom, but the people didn't like that and so wanted to throw him off a cliff. But it wasn't Jesus' time to die and so he walked away. We also learned that Jesus called the fishermen to follow him and they did. He called Levi, a rotten sinful tax collector, follow him and he did. And then last week we learned that Jesus taught his disciples and everyone else that we should love others even those who give us a hard time, because God has loved us amazingly. Jesus was a bit of a celebrity, and everywhere he went, people wanted to see him because they knew that around Jesus, amazing things happened. As Jesus entered Capernaum, one such person who wanted to see Jesus was a centurion. Now this centurion wasn't one of the people from God's nation. He was in fact a Roman soldier. God's people didn't usually like the Roman soldiers, but this soldier was no ordinary soldier. He was a centurion, which meant that he was in charge of a hundred soldiers. He was very important. And the people loved him. He built their synagogue and loved the nation of Israel. And because he was an important soldier, he had servants. He had people under him who did whatever he wanted. Whenever he told them to do something, they did it. In fact, the soldier was someone who was in control. But one day, his servant became sick. In fact, he became so sick that his servant was lying at home in terrible pain, unable to move. The centurion was in control of a lot of things, but he certainly wasn't in control of sickness. And so he sent messengers to the man he knew really was in control. He sent messengers to see Jesus. The messengers said, Jesus, this man is a good man. He deserves this. Come and please help his servant. Well, what would Jesus do? Well, Jesus cared and wanted to help, so he went with him to heal the man. But the centurion knew how Jesus was really in control, and he knew also how unworthy he was to have Jesus come into his house. And so he said to his friends, Go and say this to Jesus. Lord, I'm not good enough for you to come into my house. I know I have authority. I tell soldiers what to do, but I know you have greater authority. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. The centurion knew he had control, but he knew Jesus had ultimate control. He knew that Jesus could heal this man even from a long way away just by speaking. Now Jesus was amazed at the trust the centurion had, and so he turned to the crowd around him and said, I have never seen somebody even from all of God's people who has so much trust as this centurion does. The messengers who had been sent to Jesus then returned to the centurion and found the man's servant well. Jesus had healed him. The centurion was certainly right to put his trust in Jesus. The centurion trusted that Jesus was in complete control. If Jesus said it, then his servant would be better. And that's exactly what happened. Just like the centurion, we need to put our trust in Jesus that he is in complete control. Put your trust in Jesus because his words can be trusted completely. And if you put your trust in Jesus, then everything that Jesus promises will be yours. He can be trusted completely for Jesus really is in control.